RPG Life Sciences, that particular stock is in focus. Uh, Yugal Sikri, CEO of RPG Life, is now joining us to talk more about numbers. The stock is nudging 2,000 rupee mark now, 7.5%. Hi, I'm Sikri. Uh, morning, thanks so much for your time. So with this result, <coughs> which is actually a pretty good one, you are now clocking close to 750, 800 crore on the top line on an annual run rate with 100 crore on the profit front. Pretty reasonable landmark for a company to reach that number. Just about 1200 crore companies in India have 100 crore plus profitability. What's the area of focus from here on? You achieved uh, you know, pretty much what you had guided two years back on that direction. Margins have expanded. So what's the focus area from here on? Thanks Ajay for uh, bringing me on your channel. Uh, yes, the last uh, five, six year journey had been quite gratifying uh, on all parameters. Uh, now, specific to your question, uh, you know that we are uh, into three business segments, uh, domestic formulations, international formulations, and API. Uh, so far, our tremendous focus has been on domestic formulation because that contributes 66-67% to our turnover. Uh, and, and that is what has helped us to reach where we have reached today um, in all parameters. Now, we have the three engines of growth. One is domestic formulation, second is international formulations, and third is API. On domestic formulations, our current five-pillar growth strategy continues, which is product portfolio rejuvenation, strategic asset building, the customer segment enhancement, the, the efficiencies enhancement, profitability improvement, et cetera, et cetera. Now, the second and third growth engine, which are very, very critical for our growth now are the international formulations and API. And for their growth, we have two prerequisites. One is a plant, which is modern, cost optimized, and is approvable by the best of the regulators. Uh, I'm happy to share with you that uh, we have invested close to about over 140 crore capex on both the plants. Our uh, API plant will uh, is is getting ready is almost ready now and uh, and our formulation plant is under readiness uh, i'm also happy to share with you that we have got the australian regulator to visit our plant uh, australian regulator tg has approved our api plant now and uh, so one is the uh, the plant modernization and capacity expansion and the second is the product uh, pipeline build up uh, we have our modernized uh, R&D, uh, which is now working on the new products, both in the API and the formulation. And that is what uh, will help us to drive our business going forward. In those areas, uh, we have very mm -hmm. distinctive product portfolio strategy identified, right. uh, as well as uh, the kind of the markets we will enter. Sure. Uh, also, we have identified already, which is what we are currently working on. Apart from that, sure. innovation, digitalization, and the talent mm -hmm. focus are the three areas which will support Absolutely. all the three, domestic formulation, international formulations, and API going forward. Right. Right. You know, sir, uh, I just want to know furthermore in terms of the API segment, right? You're highlighting a bit more in terms of obviously the plant side. But uh, you're, you're expecting more of the uh, demand push coming in, price recovery. What is going to, uh, what is giving you this confidence for the API segment? Uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, the confidence on API is coming, one, because we have now modern plant uh, with expanded capacity available to us. Second, uh, the focus which we are now put in on the R&D pipeline. Uh, we have close over 10 molecules under development today. Uh, and I think we have confidence that those molecules will help us to grow our business, not only on our existing markets, as well as in the new markets. Now, in what gives us the confidence in API also is our focus on certain niche product portfolios, which we have identified. One is our immunosuppressant basket. We were manufacturing as a type so far. We are now working towards manufacturing yet another immunosuppressant called mycophenolate. Second, we are also focusing on the low volume, but uh, less competitive uh, product portfolio, which will give us not only the sales business, but we'll also make sure that our profitability continues uh, uh, uninterrupted the way it has been going for the last five, five six years. Right. So, so do you think the next 100 crore 
on your annual profit will actually likely to come in lesser number of years, three to four years. Is that a fair estimate? Uh, I'm always optimistic. <laughs> uh, the optimism has brought us so far, and I'm sure that optimism will take us forward, uh, doubling, trebling, uh, the, the sky is the limit for us. And only thing I can tell you, we have plans in place. We have execution excellence in this place. And there is a desire in the team to be a benchmark company. Uh, I, I must also share with you that we are a benchmark company now in 1,000 crore turnover company on almost all financial matrices. And that confidence helps us to think beyond what we have achieved so far and not only doubling, tripling the turnover, but also I'm confident of that and wish you all the best, uh, you and your team, Mr. Sikri, to achieve better numbers even from here on. Thanks very much. Thank you so much, Ajay.